In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sunflower in the style of Vincent van Gogh. Now you have a choice. You can either create one big sunflower or, looking at Vincent van Gogh's famous sunflower painting, you can create multiple. I am going to show you how to do one and then um, you can decide if you wanted to do another using multiple sunflowers. So remember, uh, Vincent van Gogh used organic shapes, so they don't have to be perfect. So we're gonna, you can also use a pencil or you can use a black crayon. Black crayons are really good to use for drawing. So we're going to start off by making the center of the sunflower nice and round. Again, because we're thinking of organic lines and shapes, it does not have to be perfect. Okay. Now for the petals of the sunflower, uh, here are some examples of different petals. You can use um, more leafy and wavy petals. You can use zigzag petals. It's up to you. So what you're going to do is, I want mine to have a lot of movement because I like the way in Vincent van Gogh's painting that there was a lot of movement. I'm going to pull up the picture again. See how there's a lot of movement? They're not perfect. This one kind of looks like a, a little bit of a perfect zigzag. They're not very perfect. Okay. So I'm going to start here. little 
dashes of paint made by Van Gogh. If you look at the way, if you look at the way he painted, it's like dashes, and it created texture. This is called texture in art. So it's not that you can feel it with your finger; it's you can see that it might feel a certain way. You can create a pattern in here if you want. If you want to be different, make it different. Create some dashes.
and hit the blue submit button. You can record yourself. You can record yourself holding up your project. Um, and that's an easier way for a, a lot of students to submit work. I can't wait to see them.